In this video, we are going to discuss a previous gate problem which is given in 87 for 2 marks. So, related to Blair diagram reduction which is very simple if you know about feedback in control system. You can see the problem here for the system shown in figure the transfer function C of S divided by R of S is. So, we need to find out the transfer function of this control system given. So, that is nothing but output transform by input transform C of S by R of S. If they did not given C of S by R of S also transfer function is nothing but output transform by input transform only. So, by this block diagram we need to find out the relevant transfer function. So, here these are the transfer functions they are given in options. So, we need to find out. So, here what we can do when a bulky block diagram is given to find out the transfer function means we need to reduce that number of blocks into single block in between input and output by using block diagram reduction steps. So, if you see here which type of connections are there. So, here you can observe two feedbacks. So, this is one feedback and another unity feedback is there. So, unity feedback is nothing but feedback loop gain is equivalent to 1. So, here you can observe h is equivalent to 1, but here h is equivalent to s. Yes. This is not unity feedback, this is unity feedback. So, here we are having one negative feedback and another negative unity feedback. If you reduce these two feedbacks, then you are supposed to get the solution. You are supposed to reduce all these feedbacks and this open loop gain into a single block. So, you can see how we can reduce a negative feedback. So, any negative feedback system, so this we can reduce. So, up to here, so this is in negative feedback. You know the gain, resultant gain of negative feedback system. If open loop gain is G and feedback gain is H, that means if you are having like this. So, if you are having like this feedback loop, negative feedback loop, then the gain of this feedback is equivalent to G by 1 plus GH. We already derived this formula. Based on that, I am going to reduce these two blocks. How I can reduce? So, I am just using that formula. So, here plus minus here I am going to make that feedback loop into a single block. So, what is this block value? Block value is nothing but feedback gain. So, I am applying this formula for this two. Here h is equivalent to s and g is equivalent to 10 by s into s plus 1. So, I am substituting. So, here 10 divided by s into s plus 1 divided by 1 plus g into h means again 10 into s into 10 by s into s plus 1 into s. s s will get cancelled and here you are having you, you can do cross multiplication here 10 into s into s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 plus 10. So, you can you can take here as 11. So, this is equivalent to 11 divided by s plus 1. So, s plus 1, s plus 1 I am taking uh, cancellation and this is equivalent to 10 divided by this s I am getting into the denominator. So, s square plus 11 s. So, that is g by 1 plus g h related to this feedback. So, I am taking that in gate exam no need to consider the diagrams like this directly you can go for formulas. So, here for explanation purpose I am going to consider the diagrams, but when you are calculating yourself to select any one of the option no need to draw the diagrams. So, here itself you can take that and after that you can imagine this diagram and you can use this feedback. And here I am having C of S and one another feedback is remained here that is unity feedback. So, now here also I am going to apply the same formula. Here G is equivalent to this gain open loop gain is now 10 divided by S square plus 11 S and our feedback gain is unity H is equivalent to 1. 
So now I am substituting in the same formula, in this same formula I am going to substitute for this loop. So in place of g I am going to substitute s square plus 11s divided by 1 plus h value is 1 because this is unity feedback and into g, g is again s square plus 11s. So, I am just doing cross multiplication and cancelling the denominators. What you are going to get is 10 divided by s square plus 11s plus 10. So, here you are reducing this loop and you are going to get 10 by s square plus 11s plus 10 in between input and output. Whatever the gain is there in between input and output that will be the transfer function of the system given. So now this is the transfer function of the system if you consider C of S by R of S you are going to get this. So in the given options this will be the transfer function of the total system. So which option is suitable means so here we are having second option this second option is the right option for the transfer function of given system. This is given in gate 87 for 2 marks. You know what is the importance of 2 marks in gate. So nearly 28 is the qualifying mark in gate. So 2 marks is a very great issue in gate. Just by knowing reduction formulas you are going to get the solution like this.